We all grew up believing it would take long periods of time, a slow process of evolution in order to evolve, in order to transform a wolf into a dog. But boy, from the, from the archaeological records or whatever, it was an instant of time. How could it be possible for one species to evolve suddenly into another? Clues were to emerge unexpectedly from an experiment conducted in the old Soviet Union. I really think that the Bolyayev experiments was one of the most significant experiments in evolution that took place in the 20th century. And it affected my life and, and, and my thinking in so many ways. The experiment was begun in the 1950s at a fox farm in Siberia. The foxes were being bred for their fur, but they were wild animals that were hard to handle and often too stressed to breed. Dmitry Belayev, a geneticist, was taken on to see if he could develop foxes that would be easier to keep. He began his experiment by breeding together those foxes with the least excitable temperaments. Belayev selected foxes by a simple method. He extended a gloved hand into each animal's cage. The foxes that attacked, cowered or bit him, were excluded from breeding. But those that showed tolerance or curiosity were mated together. In effect, Belayev was selecting the foxes for their flight distance. The subsequent results were staggering. The new generations of foxes were transformed not just in behavior, but in their appearance. Within just 10 years, the selected foxes showed new variety in their color. Some were born with mottled coats or black and white patches. Their ears became floppy. They started to bark, vocalize. They became highly playful even into adulthood and were no longer afraid of people. Some of the foxes even began to answer to their names. Belayev had stumbled across the discovery that selecting for the quality of tameness alone could set off a cascade of other changes. We can still see evidence of this quantum leap at the same research center today. Up to that point, we all kind of believed Darwin. Darwin said, nature does not go in leaps. Things don't happen fast, they happen gradually. And the answer was, with Belayev's experiment, he was wrong. They do go in leaps, and sometimes big leaps, things that you wouldn't expect. The theory is here is that we're dealing with some underlying structure. When we're dealing with tameness, we're dealing with a set of genetics that is producing a characteristic response. It is not a coincidence that many domesticated animals are black and white. When selection is made for tameness, it impacts on the entire makeup of the animal. Scientists have determined that adrenaline, the fight or flight hormone, and melanin, the skin and fur pigment, are chemically connected. So they change together, as are the neurotransmitters dopamine and noradrenaline, which control behaviors. Affect one system, and there is a domino effect, from color to behaviors. Coppinger's scavenging wolves may have undergone a similar transformation. When all of a sudden Bolyayev did his experiments, it changed the way a lot of uh, us began to think about dogs. Um, people talked about why did people select dogs to have this coat color or that coat color and so on. Why did people select dogs to, to bark? And then all of a sudden we realized that those were a bunch of really silly questions because we could get all of that just by selecting for tameness. Belayev had created foxes that looked and behaved like dogs. His experiment suggested that the transformation of the wild wolf into the dog could have happened in the blink of an evolutionary eye. The stage was set for the development of the dog into the incredible variety we have today.